Karibuni to Aroma of Zanzibar. Today I'm going to share with you how you can make this beautiful, crunchy, delicious French bread or baguette. Now in this bowl, I've added four teaspoons of instant yeast, one tablespoon of granulated sugar, and two cups of warm water. That's about 500 ml. So we're going to poof the yeast first, so you want to mix it well and cover it and let it sit for about five to ten minutes. Now in about 10 minutes, your mixture should look something like this, very nice and bubbly, lots of air. And in this bowl, I've got about six cups of all-purpose flour. You could use bread flour if you have. Now over here, you can use between one and a half to two cups of flour. Now this process is to create a fermentation that's gonna give us those beautiful flavors and aromas of the French bread, just like the way you buy from the bakery. All right, so you're gonna keep this for about three to four hours to be able to obtain that. Now, after four hours, now I'm ready to the rest of the flour. I just added two teaspoons of uh, salt. Just gonna mix it well. And then I'm gonna start adding this flour to the batter. Now your batter should look like this. Sometimes it rises, but this time it did not rise. I don't know why, but uh, it worked anyway. So you're gonna add uh, the flour little at a time. It could be one cup, it could be three fourths of a cup, however convenient it is to you, you can just go ahead and do that. And if you have a stand mixer, you can use it as well, that's fine. So we're just gonna fold it in and mix until we finish all the flour. Now you want your flour, your dough to be sticky yet very firm because that's what's gonna um, make your bread very soft inside. Now at this point I like to move to the flat surface but if you prefer to continue with uh, whatever you're using please go ahead and uh, do that. All right so I'm just gonna continue kneading here and adding the flour until it finishes. And uh, this dough needs to be made for about 10 to 12 minutes to create those glutens. So the bread is nice and chewy, just like how the French bread is. Now, if you have bread flour, that's much better. Please go ahead and use it. But I used only all purpose flour for those who do not have it. All right, so I just added a little more water because I want the dough to be very nice and sticky. All right, so we're just gonna continue kneading and I think we're ready now. When you press like this, it should spring back. Yeah, I've just added a little bit of olive oil. You can use any oil that you want. This is to allow our dough to rise nice and freely without sticking at the side of the bowl. So you're just gonna cover it and let it sit for about 30 to 45 minutes. It depends on how cold or warm your area is. In the meantime, I'm gonna create the pockets. They have those special pockets where they use it for the French bread, but uh, I'm gonna use a kitchen towel. Just gonna fold it like that, one fold, second fold, basically two pockets. And if you have a bigger cloth, if you wanna do three, then you can do three pockets. is ready as you can see it's double the volume and I love to punch it down just like that that's my favorite part all right so I divided it into three you can make um, you know five six uh, baguettes so you can make two large French breads it doesn't matter and um, so we're just gonna spread it and stretch and I forgot to put the flour on the surface. So I just did that. I'm gonna stretch. Then you're gonna fold on one side and then overlap it on the other side, all right? Then you're gonna stretch again. And don't worry about making this bread uh, long because somehow the movements uh, seem to stretch the bread, all right? So the second time, you're gonna do like that and pinch and fold, okay? If you can't overlap, pinch and fold because you don't want it to 
open. And you're going to keep it for 15 minutes and then repeat the process. All right, so I'm going to do the second one the same way. And then for the third one, I decided to make the bread bowl, which I have done this video before, back in 2014, but it was only in English. Such an awful video. Anyway, so, because I, I use the same recipe for the soup bowl, so that's why. All right, so getting my tray ready, I'm just putting some Crisco. You can use a parchment paper if you have. And we're going to press the bread bowl there. Now I'm going for the third time stretch and press stretch and press and then at this time you really want to make sure you pinch it well if you need to use water as a glue go ahead and do that and we're always going to keep the seam at the bottom while baking all right all right so the second one the same way then you're just going to roll it into the pockets just like that one side and then for the other bread we're gonna do the other side all right so you're gonna keep this for about 30 to 45 minutes now in the meantime I've got my oven ready and I've got ice water and ice and this is what's gonna create the steam that's gonna make the bread nice and crunchy on the outside so now our bread dough is ready and we are ready to bake. Now you want to release this as gentle as possible. So we're just gonna pull out the kitchen cloth or whatever you're using and roll out the bread just like that. All right, and try and keep the seam at the bottom. All right, and for scoring, also you wanna make sure that your knife is as sharp as it can be because you do not want to, you know, uh, put too much pressure on this because you will end up deflating the air. Okay, so just try to be as gentle as you can. Then egg wash. You can use eggs, of course, uh, with water, or you can use olive oil, you can use butter, you can use milk, whatever works for you. All right, now my oven is at 425 degrees and you can see the steam there. 425 Fahrenheit, 218 Celsius, and this is gonna bake for about 20 to 25 minutes or until you get your bread to be this nice and golden. And when you tap, you should have a hollow sound like this. And we are ready to slice the bread. You need to let it cool for about 10 minutes, which is very, very hard. All right, because you want to eat this bread while it's still hot. All right. And this is what I was after to get those air pockets, those nice holes. And for the bread bowl or soup bowl, we're just going to slice it and remove all that inside. And when you put your soup inside, it's going to be nice. It's not going to be soggy. So thank you so much for more recipes. Please visit me at Aroma Zanzibar. You'll find all the ingredients and the measurements in the description box below and on this very last page.